I'm Wyatt Cash at Scoop News Group, and we're here at Fed Talks with Andy McIsaac, Director of Solutions Marketing for Public Sector at Alteryx. Uh, Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks, Wyatt. Uh, great to be here. So let me start by asking, in your opinion, what was the biggest storyline in federal IT over this past year? Well, I, I think it has to be COVID. Um, COVID has affected everything uh, from a government perspective. As much as it's a public health challenge, it's, it's really shown itself to be a huge data challenge, uh, data to track all kinds of things, to, to track re recovery funds, to track, uh, to figure out, you know, how to, how to work remote, uh, how to uh, provision IT. I, I, I just think, you know, COVID is, is, is a transformational moment um, that's really in, impacting government and government and IT in particular. We're having to work in remote environments, having to access more and more data, have access to critical systems. Um, I think that's, and it's really what it's shown is, you know, there has to be a lot more modernization uh, put into the IT infrastructure within, uh, within federal government, but I, I think across state and local governments as well. Well, and how would you characterize the pace and the success of federal digital transformation efforts today compared to, you know, the past couple of years before that? And what do you attribute that to? Well, again, I think it comes back a lot to, to, to COVID. I think that the pace is good. I think, you know, what this, uh, what the administration is focusing on is specifically around the, the federal modernization fund or the IT modernization fund, I think is critical. That's part of the recovery, uh, providing, you know, a uh, clear and, and ready access to, to funding to help um, you know put some modernization efforts into place across all aspects of IT. Um, I think it's uh, really critical that, that agencies uh, focus on that. Um, I think from a digital transformation perspective, we're, we're seeing you know things like the federal data strategy, uh, the implementation of, of, of chief data officers within all the federal agencies, really helping push that modernization or, or digital transformation agenda and really creating the foundation for a strong uh, data culture uh, that's really going to help empower um, you know federal governments uh, and to achieve their missions with better insight um, and and one clear thing that's re really I'm seeing come up is that this whole focus on data upskilling really focusing on building the data talent the data literacy skills uh, within the existing federal workforce I think is absolutely critical and of course we, we really support those efforts I think they're, they're, they're going to really be an imperative uh, for the federal government to, to really uh, continue to focus on achieving their missions. Oh that's a great point and uh, definitely an important development. Uh, lastly and maybe on a more personal note what in the federal technology landscape most excites you in the days and months to come? Well, you know, really, and just going back to my last point there, is the, the idea of, of upskilling, right? Um, you know, modernization, and we tend to focus on, on, the, on the actual technology, um, but I think you need to look at the, the technology itself, uh, how that better automates processes, um, you know, to, to relieve manual work and things like that. But you also have to focus on the data, um, ingesting more and more data into the whole cycle uh, of analytics and, and, you know, with the availability of more commercially av available data, uh, things like satellite imagery, for, for instance. I think that's all critical, more and more data, but that also brings together some complexity. Um, and so you need to focus on the people. You really need to focus on, are you providing your people with the ability to really democratize uh, the, the IT, um, democrat uh, have ready access to the tools uh, and resources and systems that they need, as well as building up, you know, their data literacy and really understanding the, the impact that data is going to have on their ability to do that job. So I think some really forward thinking federal agencies and some CDOs are driving that. They're, they're focusing on the availability of data. They're focusing on, you know, automating key processes. And they're also focusing uh, on building up uh, that data culture and upskilling their resources. I think for me, that that's most exciting to see that, you know, that that focus across those three areas uh, and unifying uh, that approach to data and analytics. Absolutely. Well, Andy McIsaac, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us here at Fed Talks and talking about your perspective on government and digital transformation, and in particular about data uh, in the federal government. Well, thanks, Wyatt. Thank you for having me.